Hi guys, welcome to Colossus Mathematics class. Today we'll be looking at function. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. So today we'll be looking at further examples on function. In the last class, we looked at few examples, and in today's class we'll be looking at some further examples under function. Alright, so this is the first example, and this is the second example we'll be looking at today. So let's proceed. So solution. So this first question says I have f of x to be x squared and my g of x my g of x is x squared plus one. Now I want to find g of f of zero. Now to make your work much more easier, you have to first find f of zero. Now, how will you get your f of zero? It is very simple. The way you get your f of zero is anywhere you see x in your f of x, you put zero. So instead of writing x squared, I'll write what? Zero squared. And that means my f of zero is what? Zero. So now, your g of f of x, your g of f of zero will now be g of zero because now your f of zero is what? Zero. So now do your g of zero. Your g of zero simply means anywhere you see x, you put zero. So that will be zero squared plus one, and that will be what one. So your g of zero is one. Do you understand that now? So the second one is f of g of two. So the same thing applies. First find g of two. And now we get your g of 2. Put 2 anywhere CX in g. So your g of 2 will now be, instead of writing x, you write 2. So that will be 2 is power 2 plus 1. And that was 4 plus 1. And that was 5. You get that now. So your f of g of 2, which is now 5, that's f of 5. Your f of 5 will be what? 5 squared, because f of x is x squared, so that would be 5 squared, and f of 5 will not be what, 25. So that is the solution to this first example. So let's go to the second example now. So don't forget to share this video, like, and subscribe. And if there are any questions or anything you need to let me know, Feel free to comment at the comment section. All right. So this one says my f of x is equal to 10 raised to power x. My f of x is equal to 10 raised to power x. Now, this says simplify f of sine squared x. Now, and f of cos square x. We want to find their product, but to make it much more easier, you have to separate them first. Now, don't forget f of sine square x means anywhere I see x, I'll put what sine square x. So this one have what? Then this is x. So instead of writing x, what's my x now? This is my x. So that what? Sine square x. Now the same thing for this one. This one to what? Then this one what? Cos square x. Do you get that now? Now they are product of f sine square x and f cos square x. They are product from that word. Ten is power what? Sine square x multiplied by what? Ten is power cos square x. And that will be what? Ten cos. They are base are equal. So you are applying indices now. Their base are equal. So if their base are equal, you will add the power. You will add the words, the power. So if you add the power, that will be sine square x plus cos square x. Are you getting that now? So if you add that, you know, you have to recall that in, in trigonometric, sine square x plus cos square x is 1. So that means I will have 10 is power what? 1. And my f of sine 
square x f of cos cos square x is what 10 because anything raised to power 1 is that thing so this will be my final answer for f of sin square x f of cos square x so let's see the final example here the final solution to that example before we wrap up on today's class so don't forget this is closest mathematics class it's all about simplicity don't forget to share to your friends so they can also understand simplicity in mathematics so this one says you should find don't forget our f of x is still what 10 is power what? x then how to find f of what f of cos square y cos square y my f of cos square y will be what 10 is power what cos square y and my f of sine y will be what 10 is power what sine y i'm sure you understand the principle there now so your f of cos square y over f of sine y will now be what 10 raised to power cos square y over 10 raised to power sine y do we get that now so you apply indices also the same base so you pick one then you write this power cos square y now division in indices will change towards subtraction and that word sine y so this is your final answer on this question so don't forget to subscribe like and share if there are any questions you have on function feel free to meet me at the comment section thank you very much see you next time